are a, a former Super Bowl champion with the uh, New England uh, Patriots, and that's ironic because this year they're in the Super Bowl as uh, as well with the New York Giants. So I'm sure a lot of questions you get nowadays is, who are you going for? Do you have some of your students or your faculty members? Yeah. Who are you going for? Who are you going for? So I'm going to ask you You know what? Uh, it's like this. Go ahead. I'm, I'm New Englander. Okay, so that's what I fear. I'm that's going. What... I played. You know, dude gave me opportunity. Um, actually, when I was young, I was a Raiders fan. Oh, okay. As a kid, because right. my next door neighbor actually got drafted. He was a little older than me, so I kind of followed him. Right. But as I got older, you know, um, played for New England, probably the best organization out of all the organization I played in. Okay. And you know, I respect the coaches. So, and I'm a New Englander. So, Who, would, did you ever think your years playing in the NFL that? You were ever coach of a high school football team, and in your hometown, actually, the the school that you went to. Did you ever think? Did that ever come across your mind when you were playing uh, professional football? Nah, my my biggest thing um, coming back, I wanted to relax. But then I had my sons, which I never like when I was playing. They played at the same time, so I really never got a chance to see them. Oh, okay. So me coming back, kind of, I I started out helping helping out a little bit. Right. Because my son was there, and it got, it gave me a chance, you know, to watch him. I wouldn't coach him though, right? Because I didn't want to put that pressure. But you know, be there, coach DBs, and then um, watch watch him, you right. know, develop. So came back. I always said I would come back, right? And but two years later, I ended up being a head coach. What what kind of coach is Mr. Tabucky Jones? You know what I I I took I took from my high school coach, mm -hmm. college. In the pros, one thing I know my my um my high school coach he really never yelled. My college coach was a screamer. Okay. And then of course Belichick he's not a yeller either, but right. you know that's a little more business. Right, right, right. Get right, rid right. of you, they keep you. So right, right, right. I kind of took more from my high school coach because I can remember like when I had a coach and you know there's good yelling, but sometimes it's too much. Right. And and there's a right time, so I'm not a screamer. It's like I look the kid don't get it, you sit there teach him. Right. You know. The basics and, and how to do it instead of you know yelling at them because if if you're yelling that means they don't understand it. Now I was talking to you before the show that I can never play the sport football. I I, I tried to play. I didn't even try to play. I just played for the uh, the spring the blue and yellow team. And I didn't even play in a game. I played like one practice and they actually had me down for a safety too. But I I don't, I don't know if I have the body for a safety. I, and I don't I don't I don't know. But that's I actually was a safety. I played safety for one practice. Yeah. That's it. I don't, and, then, I don't, and, then, and, then, and then I quit because I'm I don't, I don't think it's your body. I okay. think it's like it, it, here. It, right. Well, I definitely didn't have it in here. So, you, you, like you, NFL, you, DB, average DB is probably um, 5'11. Right. Like corners and safety. They're really not that big. There's a few. Like when I played Ronnie Harrison. But they're like 5'11, but they're like 190, yeah, they 200. Yeah. yeah, but you, you got to work out. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I, I, I got to start going to Popeyes and McDonald's. Yeah, and well, that's, <laughs> you can do that while you're playing. <laughs> right, right, right. That's true. That's true. But yeah, um, you you to play safety, you gotta be tough, right. and, and you gotta understand the defenses because you make a lot of calls. And but once that hole open up, you're like running now, down hundred miles. Were you safety miles. in high school and college too? Because I know football is one of the sports that your position never stays the same. They always like yeah. it's not like if you're a point guard in high school, most likely you'll be a point guard in college and maybe professionals. Were, were you a safety? Zero? High school, I was a running back. In a corner. Okay. I mean, not a corner. Um, running back in a safety. Okay. And then I did both in college. Right. I actually, um, Jim Brown, me and him got the same record because we both scored on offense and defense. Wow. So, up in Syracuse. And then when I got drafted, they actually, I had, they actually had me at corner. Right. And then um, when Belichick came in, Mangini, Belichick, Mangini wanted me to play safety. Right. Belichick wanted me to stay at corner. Right. But I felt more comfortable playing. Um, now, back to New Britain. You're the head coach of the um, high school um, team now, when you first entered the position of head coach, was there any like high expectations you had for the students and vice versa? Just because your status, did you feel any kind of pressure? Nah, my biggest thing it was um, coming back and going back to the youth first. Mm -hmm. Get the youth programs to run the same type of stuff the high schools, you know, the high school runs. Right. Because they weren't doing it. Right. And that's how you, you know. Get get a team to perform and come up and win championships. Right. So, doing that, our kids the biggest problem they come in from eighth grade, then they come in uh, high school, and then they play freshman football. But then after that, they were never eligible. Right. 
So, you know, I made that a big, you know, big point to keep the kids eligible. And actually, this is the first year um, no kid was ineligible. Oh, like good. going into the last game. Right, we right, usually right. lose like 10, 15 kids. Right, right, right. So I made that the biggest thing. I'm like, look, without the education, you can't even go, especially if you want to play football. Right. You can't, you can't do nothing with it. Now, we were talking before the show about, you know, in your speech that you had to do as far as, you know, their transition of being an NFL player now being a, a head coach for high school. What are some adjustments you had to do? And was it hard? It wasn't hard. I think the biggest thing was, um, when you get to the pros, it's like the best. Mm. You know, high school, you can have a top athlete, but then you can have a kid that's really not that athletic, but right. he's out there playing. Right. So, um, biggest thing is probably, you know, treat those different types of kids the same and don't let one kid, you know, have a higher ego than the other one. You know, they're all team and, you know, treat them like everybody's the same. That's do, the 